All right, everybody, welcome back for New Shepard's 14th mission to space. You see the gantry retracting there. We are getting ready for a launch, Patrick. This is, get, this is when it gets really exciting. All right, we have thrown the show over to the rocket. She is in autonomous mode right now. We're waiting to see the final hydraulic system checks and engine gimbal check. There you go, you see the aft fins, making sure they've got full clearance there. There are four fins on the base of that rocket. We wanna check these aerodynamic surfaces and systems before flight. This is just exactly what a pilot does on an aircraft. Waiting here for the engine gimbal check. You see the nozzle there peeking out, there it goes. The engine is also obviously to propel the rocket, but is critical in guiding the rocket on its ascent, but as well as on its descent as it comes into land on the northern landing pad, just two miles north of where the rocket is taken off from. All right, and that takes us to launch. Let's hand it control. Here we go, New Shepard. Have a great flight, Mannequin Skywalker. Enjoy that shiny new capsule, and we'll see you back home soon at Launch Site 1. T-16, guidance internal. T-10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Command engine start. 2, 1, ignition. <laughs> Her go mission control has confirmed New Shepard has cleared the tower on her way to space from launch site one in the West Texas desert with Mannequin Skywalker on board. Right about now, the fins on the aft portion of the vehicle are going to start help the vehicle do its roll maneuver. The booster is going to be rolling at about two to three degrees per second, which equates to a full rotation of the vehicle every two to three minutes. This, of course, is to give the astronauts a 360-degree view during the flight. All right, coming up here on max Q, maximum dynamic pressure on the rocket. It's the toughest part of the portion, toughest portion of the, of the flight for the rocket. And we've confirmed max Q. Excellent. All right, you can see on the top right side of your screen, that's where you can follow along as we're gaining speed as she climbs up towards space. In the bottom left corner is the altimeter, noted in, in, in feet above ground level, although you may have noticed upon, uh, at liftoff, we were sitting at 3,700 feet above mean sea level. That's the altitude uh, of our West Texas launch site. Uh, now, Mannequin Skywalker in there, starting to feel those Gs, around three and a half Gs on the way up to space. It's very similar to a roller coaster, but in that horizontal position of the seats, definitely is a much more comfortable ride. All right, now approaching main engine cutoff, or MECO. So we're going to shut off the BE-3 engine. MECO is confirmed. Now you'll notice that the, the booster and the capsule are continuing as it, it's a, their combined ascent to space. As you watch the altitude continue to... Speed is dropping, of course as it no longer has the propulsion from the BE-3 engine. Separation of the two craft is confirmed. You can start to see the two craft in the screen.
Thank you again, everybody, for joining us live for New Shepard's 14th mission to space. The maiden launch for this rocket. So far, everything appears to be nominal. The two craft have separated right about now is when, if you were an astronaut in there, that's when you'd be able to float around, gaze out of those huge, gorgeous windows, maybe even do a somersault or two. I know I would certainly do that. And as we've noted in previous flights, if you follow along on the speed on the top right corner, as soon as that speed hits zero, that's when you know that the rocket and the capsule have hit its apogee point, the highest point in the flight of the rocket. There you go, it's hit zero and now they are heading back home. We should have an unofficial apogee altitude coming up here shortly. But we have gone well over 100 kilometers, the Kármán line, the official line of space, and there it is, 350,827 feet above, I believe, mean sea level. So that's, that is excellent, a great flight well over the Kármán line. Mannequin Skywalker is an astronaut once again. Now the capsule should be continuing to do its slow spin. Everybody gets a window seat in the capsule of New Shepard, but now we're making sure everybody gets the perfect view. All right, the two craft are heading back home now. The booster is going to beat the capsule back home. Obviously, it's more aerodynamically shaped, uh, and so it's going to come down first. Right about now, in the next 10 to 15 seconds or so, this is when we expect the rocket to hit atmospheric pierce point. That means that's when it's coming back in and it's have it back, back home from space, and it has enough air pressure upon which it can use its aerodynamic surfaces to push, and that will help guide the rocket back to its landing pad, again, two miles north of where it's taken off from. We have confirmation that the wedge fins have been deployed. Those fins are at the forward section, the top section of the rocket. They're housed in the ring fin. They also help provide stability for the rocket as it comes into land. And this booster is, is screaming home right about now. It is, it, at its maximum return velocity is just under Mach 4. So we're looking now for the drag brakes to deploy. As soon as those deploy, you'll see the speed come down very rapidly. You're starting to see that in the top right corner there. And then in quick succession, we're going to get the BE-3 engine to restart. The landing gear will deploy, and then the booster will come in for a nice, soft touchdown. There are the drag brakes. Welcome back, New Shepard. Oh, you can hear our team back here at headquarters enjoying our, this moment for this rocket. What a day. Did a nice little maneuver there to bring it back, back to the center of the pad, but that is what we're looking for. A completely autonomous system, Patrick. 
That never gets old. That's the type of stuff that makes live rocket launches and landings so exciting. I know. Every time, every time I see that booster come back, it's just like your heart's in your throat. But it's just it's so, so exciting to see it actually come back and just perfectly land down there. Incredible. Incredible. Kudos to our whole team for adding yet another rocket to our fleet. Wow. Okay. Well, the show is not over. That's right. We still uh, are waiting here for the crew capsule to come back. As noted, first the drogue chutes will deploy. Those are like the guide parachutes. The uh, mains will then deploy. You'll also see the mains then uh, inflate to full inflation. And once they're fully uh, inflated, that's when the, uh, the crew capsule starts to slow down comes in a nice 15 16 miles an hour a nice a nice cruise back home we'll wait for it to come back in to our valley uh in west texas uh and it will land and just as we talked about just in the last milliseconds the retro thrust system fires and it creates a nice pillow air air pillow if mm -hmm. you will so mannequin skywalker by the time he touches down it's just at about one mile an hour it's a nice soft touchdown and there we go the crew capsule has its mains deployed, fully inflated. What an incredible day for the team. What a beautiful shot. You know, Mannequin Skywalker, I mean, <laughs> if he had adrenaline, his heart would be, would be thumping pretty hard. What a day. All the way up over the Carmen line and back, coming in for a nice soft cruise back into our West Texas Valley there. Just about 400 feet above ground level. We're waiting for the retro thrust systems to fire and then a nice soft landing. And touchdown. <laughs> what a day. What a beautiful shot. Congratulations to all of Team Blue. Really well deserved. This is our 14th mission a safe landing for the booster, safe landing for the crew capsule. We added a little, we were talking about add a little bit of char to the bottom of the, uh, to the bottom of that rocket. Came back nice and clean though, look at that. Absolutely spectacular. Now if you were an astronaut on board that capsule there, you would have had an incredible ride up over the Carmen line and back. Get the big beautiful views out of the, you know, the, we did the mm -hmm. 360 degree spin this time. Get your three minutes of, of weightlessness. I can't wait to check out the onboard cameras to see the views that Mannequin Skywalker experienced today. Just what a day. I know. And, and how about those drone shots of the, of the rocket and, and actually the capsule coming down? Those were pretty spectacular. Those were beautiful. <laughs> looks like a nice clean landing right there in the desert. Everything looks to have gone 